Hi, my name is Petr and welcome to another episode of Cheap Content on YouTube where I'm going to eat a bunch of stuff and you're going to watch me. We've all seen videos where people try like different snacks from all around the world, like Japanese snacks, Korean snacks, American snacks and stuff like that. So I bought a bunch of stuff in the Icelandic supermarket and we will see how this goes. Uh, this is like 50-50, some of this stuff I already know, some of this stuff I'm avoiding, um, <laughs> so we will see. And with my last video about Icelandic food, people were nice in the comments saying that they were happy that I wasn't judgmental about Icelandic food or that I wasn't yucking anyone's yum. So I'm not going to do that now as well, like I can eat anything basically, but some of these things I'm not the biggest fan of, so we will see how it goes. So first thing... Let's try this. Uh, this is dried fish, basically. I have bought three different packs because these are different. These are like bigger chunks of the fish and these are just like small bits. Isa is, I think, haddock. So these are dried haddock fish and people would eat it. You know, sometimes they would be munching on this, like watching TV or something, drinking beer. And it's pretty normal. You can find this everywhere. Let's open this one. This is not working. <laughs> okay. Smells fishy. Wait, let me just tear like one bit. I'm not sure if you can see that. It is very dry. I'm gonna eat it uh, dry first and then I've heard it. it's better with butter. So I'm gonna try to eat it with butter as well. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It tastes like fish. But my mouth is so dry now. <laughs> Let me, let me just pour myself a drink. So I bought a bunch of drinks as well. This one I really like, apple scene. Uh, this is just basically like orange flavored soda. Like this is the drink where when I'm coming back to Iceland, this is the drink that I'm going to buy at the airport. Like the first thing I'm going to buy is apple scene actually. I really like it. But let's start with maybe malt extra because this is very Icelandic as well, I think. Malt drinks are fermented drinks. This one is fermented barley, I think. These fermented drinks are like, the most popular ones are beers, but this is not alcoholic. This is non-alcoholic drink. Look at this. Yeah, it looks like dark beer, actually. It smells like a beer a little bit as well. Ooh, that's nice. I, I really like that one, actually. What you would do also is that you would take the malt and you would take apple scene and then you would mix them together. I also bought like some pre-mixed drinks that are malt and apple scene. So you are having a very Icelandic uh, snack right now. This is a mess. I need, I need to organize myself better with this. So let me take the butter. Just a little bit of butter. I'm gonna put it on the <laughs> on the fish. Okay. Hmm. The butter actually brings out a really good flavor from the fish. It tastes kind of sweet now. Maybe it's the malt, I'm not sure. <laughs> With butter, it's definitely better. I really like that actually. But it's still, it's still very dry fish. So let's see if there's any difference, I actually don't know. These scissors are just not working, look at this. So this one is definitely more crispy. This is perfect, yes! <laughs> this is how it should be. <laughs> <laughs> because this is way more crispy, so like it's not that chewy and it's not that dry in your mouth. So these like isubitar, I like them. Wait, let me put some butter on it. I need to recalibrate my senses. Yeah, this one is this one is good. I like it dry more these bits than with the butter, because the butter on the other one really like brought up some flavors and it tasted really good. I like it on its own actually. This is something I can imagine just like munching on, like watching watching TV or something and just munching, munching on this. It must be super healthy as well. It's just, yeah, this is basically just fish and salt. It says Isa and salt. So there is no like added stuff. This reminds me of like these Japanese snacks that I saw like kids munching on, you know, like uh, dried octopuses in vinegar and stuff like that. It's like super healthy chips, basically. I'm not the healthiest person, just to be clear. <laughs> but if I was, then this would probably be something I would be eating. This was not bad. This was good. And the third one is Thorskur. 
and Thorskur is a god. So this is dried god. Look at this. <laughs> Perfect. Let's open. <laughs> okay, let me take out like one bigger piece. Look at this. This is just like... Can you see this? I think they just like put the fish outside in the wind and just dry it like that. This table is a mess, Jesus Christ. You, you see that? Can you see that? I'm not sure if the camera will focus. But like... <laughs> yeah, anyway. Mm. I bet this will be better with butter. This is very dry. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of this just on its own. Like the, the bits, they were perfect. Crispy and nice. This feels just, I don't know. Too dry. It's so strange how the butter actually <laughs> enhances the whole thing. Wow. I don't know why, but I have a... <laughs> this, okay, this is going to sound strange, but I have a, like a strawberry taste now in my mouth. When I take the fish and put it with the butter... <laughs> it tastes like strawberries, what the f***? Okay, I was actually afraid of the fish. We had the haddock, the cod and the cod pieces. This is not bad. Like, if you are going to eat this, then I would probably say that the bigger pieces are flat and long. Try to eat them with butter. And the bits are totally fine on their own. No butter needed. Really good, really tasty. I like it. Okay, let's get to drinks because my mouth is super dry now. I want to taste test these uh, malts. So this is the normal malt. And then we have malt and apple seen from the company Eggils. And then we have malt and apple seen from Viking. Both Eggils and Viking are making beers as well. <sighs> Let's see if the color is different. So let me put it like this so you know which one is which. This is the Viking, this is the Eggils, and this is the straight up malt. So the malt... Like I said, I really like it. It's sweet, it's nice, it's smooth. And these are a little bit brighter. I'm not sure if you can see that. Because they are with the apple scene. So let me see. This this is the Eggles one. Hmm. This one is sweeter. This one tastes more like malt. This one tastes more orangey. I actually don't know. <laughs> they taste the same. You can of course taste the orange in both of these, because there is the apple scene in them. I think this one is a little bit more orangey and like nice to drink. Okay, final verdict. Um, this one, even though it says that there's like less sugar in it, tastes pretty sugary. I don't mind it, I like sweet drinks, but this one is more like mild, with a little bit of orange flavor in it. And But the mouth itself, on its own, is really tasty. Really soft, smooth beer with no alcohol and a little bit of sugar. A lot of sugar. So let's continue with some snacks. Um, what should I take first? Okay, you know what? I'm going to get through things that I know that I don't enjoy that much first, so then I can wash my tastes with things that I might actually like. So this, 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 and this. This one is technically not from Iceland, this one is from Sweden, it's made in Sweden. So all of these things are a licorice with some flavor. Like, I can eat licorice, that's fine. I used to eat licorice as a kid, so I'm used to it. But what Nordic countries do is that they try to put like licorice and salt. And in this case, licorice and pepper. It says pipar lacris. So I'm not looking forward for this one. These are cola and salt. So this is like, this is like gelatin sweets with taste of coke and salt. And then these two chocolates. Yeah, one is just chocolate and lacris, uh, so licorice. And this, this other one is chocolate and salt licorice. Let me start with this one. This will be the, probably the least crazy to me. So this is a chocolate and in the middle there is like a licorice candy. Can you see that? And then if I break it... So like I said, there's, it's like a chocolate, and in the middle there's like a licorice filling. Mm. 
I think that this is very popular in Iceland. And it's not bad. It's probably not something that I would seek out. But let me see how the salty liquor is and chocolate tastes like. Ooh. No, wait, what is this? This looks different. This should be like salty licorice. But I'm confused because the middle part is very like bright. It's like yellow. Hm. You know what? I actually like this one. It is salty, like you can taste the salt, but maybe because the chocolate is very good. Let me try just the chocolate. Yeah, because the chocolate is like really good. It's like milk chocolate. <laughs> so I basically like the chocolates. I have chocolate everywhere now. <laughs> Don't judge. Okay, these were actually not that bad. I would maybe even pre prefer the salty licorice chocolate than the normal one. I feel like it has more taste, even though it hits you with the salt flavor in your mouth. The chocolate is really good on its own, so yeah, I would actually prefer this one over this one. So these are, they look like this, they are squishy a little bit. They are in a shape of a skull, like a pirate. When I smell it, it, it smells like coffee, actually. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> there is the salty licorice flavor. <laughs> and it hits you in your nose. <laughs> like the salt. You can just like... It, I don't know. Why would you put so much salt in something? Because last time when I uh, ate like salty licorice, it was like eight years ago in Sweden. And back then it really hit me and surprised me. But maybe I acquired some taste over the years. But yeah, so this one, not my favorite. These two are okay. This one is better, I think. And let me get to the main nemesis over here. The pepper licorice. I'm not really sure why I'm doing this to myself. Before we get to this, I need some drink maybe. These are called collab. And I never bought them because on the, because on the can it says collagen. And that always like confused me. Why would you have collagen in drinks? Like I'm used to eating collagen in like capsules when I used to run. I used to eat collagen to like help my knees and my joints and stuff like that. But when I saw it on the <laughs> label of a drink, I was always surprised why would I drink this. But I was thinking that I never tried it, so it's time maybe to try it. And this one says, or both of them say, that there's collagen, 105 milligrams of caffeine, so it's, I guess, like an energy drink as well. And it is sugar-free. I'm not sure what to expect. Oh, they're both <laughs> pure. I was expecting them to be like different, like, uh, I don't know. I was expecting them to be like these, you know, like acid looking colors, but no, they are both same. This one is more sparkly, as you can tell maybe. I'm not sure about the smell. This one smells nice, like, it smells a little bit like medicine, but with flavor. So this one is the raspberry one, I think. This one should be the lemon one. Let me try the lemon one. Oh, it tastes like normal soda. But there's this weird smell to it. Like, <laughs> I can smell the collagen. <laughs> I feel like I can smell the collagen. I, I don't know. Can you smell collagen? I can, I guess. But tasting it, it, it tastes like normal lemon soda, actually. It's good. If this is like an energy drink as well, I would actually really like that because it doesn't have that, you know, like that strong energy drink taste. So yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually really surprised because both of these taste like very basic, smooth, nice lemonade with a little bit of sugar, I guess. No, they are both sugar free. Okay, I'm on board. <laughs> okay. Let me put this away. I'm gonna have more of this. And let's get to this one. Can I smell it? It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell like pepper. Oh, these are very tough. It looks like this. Can you see that? What is that? It's all over my fingers now. Okay, let, let me see. This is so hard. Let me make one thing clear. It doesn't taste bad. 
<laughs> it tastes like licorice. I can't taste the pepper. Is there any pepper? But it's so tough to chew. I don't mind the taste. It's just super chewy. It's really tough gelatin. And it's all over my <laughs> teeth now. I need to wash this down. It didn't taste like pepper. I was expecting it to be much stronger. I couldn't even taste the, the pepper, but it's just so hard to chew. And it just gets all over your mouth and stuck on your teeth. <sighs> Excess consumption may have a laxative effect. Well, I guess I'm spending time in toilet today. Let me get through these ones. These are things that you can buy in like a bakery, but also like a supermarket. This one is called Kleinur. And I like them. They are very basic. Like when I... Can you see them maybe? When I open them... It's just like a bread thingy. It smells... Like sugar. <laughs> They're pretty oily and the other ones are even more oily. Um, yeah, it's like a white dough bread thing. This is like a very basic thing that you would have with coffee or tea or something like that. Probably coffee, let's be honest. I don't think that Icelandic people drink that much tea. Yeah, I like them. They don't have any crazy flavor. They are not trying to be anything extra. And this one is similar, but, <laughs> but heavier. Um, this one is way oilier. <laughs> Like, I just touched it and I have it all over my fingers. It's super oily. These are also like white dough, nothing special, but there's also like raisins in them. So let me get the raisin. They are so oily. I like them both. Uh, Klein is very basic, not some crazy taste or anything. They're not super sweet. They're just like a nice thing with something hot. These are super oily and have more flavor and there are raisins in them as well. Let me just check. 19 grams of fat? <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> <In 100 laughs> so this bag is 250 grams and in 100 grams is 19 grams of fat. That's like one fifth <laughs> is just fat. <laughs> so that should tell you probably how oily and fatty these are. So they are super heavy to eat. Wait, I still have this and this. And this. I don't know what these are actually. I know maybe what these are. So these are like small chocolate balls. Wait. Oh, th there's like an English translation actually. Chocolate coated corn puffs. Nothing too crazy. They taste good. The chocolate is good. If I'm watching like a TV show or something and I put this on a, in a bowl, I would totally snack on this like a lot. What is this? Icelandic white chocolate covered caramels. This sounds perfect. That sounds amazing actually. Now we are getting to the good stuff. <laughs> oh, like a big ball, chunky ball. Hard. Mm-hmm. I mean... You can't go wrong with <laughs> chocolate caramels, right? This is really good, just it's like a caramel, so it gets on your teeth as well. But it is tasty. And again, 18 grams of fat. I'm getting like a sugar rush right now. <laughs> so both of these are really good. This one is more snackable because it's like a corn puff. But what is this? I actually never seen this, never bought this. Looks very Icelandic. It's made in Reykjavik, and it's called Risa Fristur. Let me see what it is. I actually don't know what it is. Just, this will be like a small surprise. Okay, so it's like a... Um... Oh, look at that. No, this is licorice again. <laughs> I'm so disappointed right now. <laughs> I mean, it's good. I just didn't want to eat more licorice. We've been through this already, okay? It's chocolate and licorice. Let me open actually the drink that I, I like. And that's apple seen. Like I said, it tastes like Fanta, I guess. Why are we still here? Just 
just to suffer. Anyway, so let's continue. Oh yeah, here we go. That's my jam, right there. I like apple scene because it tastes more orangey. Fanta is like Fanta and apple scene is like the difference between when you buy like an orange and one of them when you open it up and it's like white already and you can already tell that it's not juicy and then you eat it and you're like disappointed how not juicy the orange is that's Fanta for me and apple scene is like a better version of that apple scene is like a better version of Fanta it's probably more sugary I don't know how much sugar is in this they don't tell they don't want you to know I'm getting such a sugar high right now, seriously. I still have this chocolate here. So I bought a Sirius chocolate. I, I really like the Sirius brand. And this one is like a new version. So this is like a chocolate with sea salt and pretzels. It looks nice actually. Like you can see maybe, you can see the pretzels in the chocolate maybe. Let me see how it tastes. Hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can totally do that. Dude. It's just like pretzels. Covered in chocolate. <laughs> There's nothing to it. But it tastes good. It tastes really good. Oh, it's double salt. <laughs> it's salty pretzels and salt. But I can taste the salt that much, actually. This is very nice. Like, this is the thing that I would probably buy again. Okay, let's finish up with last three items. So I bought some biscuits, I guess. These ones I know and I really like them. Um, these I never had, but how can you go bad with like wafers with milk chocolate? So these are biscuits covered in Belgian chocolate. How can you go bad on a Belgian choc... Okay, this one doesn't look that great. You know, you know when you buy like a chocolate and it already has like the white cover thingy? I bought this like two days ago. It is until September 2021, so... Yeah. Just a biscuit with chocolate. I mean, you can't go wrong with just biscuits and chocolate. This is good. This is really good. I'm not sure, but it tastes like the biscuit itself has a little bit of like a cocoa or like a chocolatey flavor. Okay. Next one. Icelandic milk chocolate wafers. I'm so surprised actually that there's a lot of like English names on these packs. Oh, this is much bigger than I expected. First, can you see that? So these are like the rice puffs on top. Yep, tastes like chocolate wafers. I'm gonna crash into like sugar coma after this. Why am I doing this to myself? I don't eat much. <laughs> Just to be clear, I don't eat that much. This is like insane amount of food for me right now. Okay, good, good. This one. I know this one. I know I will like this one. So again, this is like a biscuit with chocolate on top, but the biscuit itself, I have chocolate everywhere now, but the biscuit itself has a coconut flavor. Maybe the chocolate has the flavor? I can't tell. I can't tell and I don't care. It tastes really good. Just like coconut biscuits with chocolate. And they're vegan as well. It says vegan here. So that must be good for you, right? Do they use palm oil? Let me just check one more thing. If they don't use palm oil, I'll be... No, they do. <laughs> Never mind. I guess that's it. I tried everything, ate everything, drank everything. <laughs> I'm so done. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly did with some of these things. Um, actually, all of them were kind of good. I can't complain. I didn't have anything that was super like disgusting or something. And, you know, like I didn't want to yuck anyone's yum, 
but I didn't have to because um, they were all okay. These are like really nice snacks. So yeah, if you want to try, if you come to Iceland, definitely like grab some of these that I just showed you. Um, they're all good, so you will not make like a mistake. Except if you don't like licorice, then probably don't buy any licorice um, chocolate. But uh, yeah, let me know down below in the comments which of these things you would like to try on your own. And click the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. But until then, ciao!